how I caught the E-190. So it was a casual day at Monroe County Airport. I was just taking some photos of specifically a Cessna 172 registered as November 23 Echo Foxtrot and a Mooney M20J no registered as November 201 Foxtrot Golf. But from the view that we were at, I could see a massive, massive tail. It looked blue, and it all I knew was that it was pretty big for this airport. So I'm like, hey, Dad, let's go over there. And he's like, you sure? You sure you want to leave this spot? And I'm like, yeah, I just wanted to check it out, you know. And I we drove over there. I realized it was a Breeze Airways E-190. So we're at the parking lot, and this thing is just kind of sitting there on idle where its engines are kind of running but it's not really doing anything and it's just kind of sitting there it was kind of doing that thing and as i was looking at it some dad and a kid popped up out of nowhere well i was in the zone so it felt like nowhere and they started being like oh wow you know this pretty big airplane I'm, my dad and that dad got to talking and i was just kind of hanging out with the kid you might have been able to see him in the video that i caught and we were just kind of talking about, oh wow, this thing is so cool. And after the ground employees finished loading up the airplane, it started a taxi. And this probably took about 30 minutes. It was not a very small process. You know, um, it's not like a very grand task, but it's like not something that would take, you know, 10 minutes to do. Well, it starts taxiing off, and it is loud. And it was... So loud, in fact, that, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we were covering our ears. I don't know where I was going with that. But, as it turned around to taxi to runway 35, I turned my camera around and I zoomed in on the Breeze Airways E190 and I took the picture that you see on screen right now. And at that point, I did not know that it was going to become, like, that photo. I just thought it was going to be like, oh, you know, it was a photo. Because I have so many photos that I don't even publish. Just because they're just not good enough. I thought it was going to be one of those. But, no, it was actually the photo of the E190. But, yeah, anyway, it does its taxi procedure. And it waits for its takeoff clearance. And there was, like, a tiny little airplane. It, it instructed him to line up and wait. Three sixty-five, just be about one to two minutes here uh, till your release time. Copy that. Must be fifty-three sixty-five. Number six-eight, Charlie, turn right out three. Where you parking? Six-eight, Charlie, taxi into Cook on this frequency ahead to your right there. As you might have been able to hear from that ATC audio recording archive from Live ATC. The E-190 was instructed to line up and wait while the smaller airplane was being instructed to park in... I don't, rem I don't even know where they were parking. 36365, runway 35, proceed on course, Copa Tega. So basically, it was cleared for takeoff at that moment now. And as it's rolling down the runway, like, I, I heard it, and I got my camera, and I focused it in, and I started to zoom in, and that's when I got a view of the E-190 taking off. And the rest, you, the rest is history. You already know what happened. Six three six five contact Holman, departure, take care. Yep. Departure, Moxie, 6365, 2.4, 2.5, climbing 3,000. Moxie 6365, home and departure, I think climbing team 5,000. I didn't think climbing team 5,000, Moxie 6365. Moxie 6365, radar contact four miles northeast of Bloomington Airport and fly heading 050. Roger, heading 050, Moxie 6365, in position today. Moxie 6365, contact India approach on 124.905. Good day. 2495, Moxie 6365. Good day. 6365, India approach, climb maintain 13000, India turn 3031. 